not quite convinced that this place is going to still be open but we're going to try anyway and we're staying very local tonight again this way home from work took a little detour for urbex reasons earlier and as i was driving past this building i noticed there was a door open and this building's been abandoned for 20 plus years it is a pottery factory the whole area is pretty abandoned like i mean there's buildings everywhere so it was this door just here hey, no obviously these cars are getting pretty slow um there was a car kind of slightly looked like it had been broken down just holding the camera down low because I don't want to look so dodgy walking down here. I need to wait for a bit of a gap, guys. These buildings here look, are all wide open, but they're all sealed at the same time. Looks like they're going to be bricked up. Some fresh breeze block over there. And the problem is, it's quite a busy main road. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in there because the fence is put back. The door's been closed. I want to see if the lock's on or I can't, I can't actually get to it right now. I'm going to have to just sort of think about it and plan it. Probably should have come when it was dark, to be fair. This is the problem, it's like, since we've been here, it's been one way or the other's been busy. There's absolutely nothing coming down there. Well, there's a car coming now. But then, this way, is really busy again. Just can't win. It should, uh, should calm down by now. Yeah, there's a gap. Going for it, guys. Yeah, it's been, um... Been padlocked again, that has, unfortunately. This is behind that door. Yeah, it's been padlocked, guys. Now I've got to wait for a gap to get back out. That door there, that was wide open earlier. And they're so quick on this building, it's because it's on such a busy main road. So yeah, we've got all this as well. And look at that feature there. Old letterbox, look. That's pretty cool. But yes, guys, it's all, um, it's all closed off, so. We ain't gonna be going in there today. So yeah, that's why I decided I wasn't gonna film a main channel video. I was just gonna make it a bit of a vlog because they're so quick on this building, they really are. So the building itself over here, that whole building used to come right out to the road where them concrete posts are there, them big concrete uh, barriers. It, there was no pavement there, but it kind of, you could walk along that. And that was the, the front of the building here. Apparently it was an unsafe building, the council sent an order for them to make the building safe it was used one time as a gym since since it's been a pottery factory i mean there's kilns around the back it's, it's really well known place i forget the name of it though because they didn't do anything with the building somebody came along i'm assuming from the council and they actually knocked all that front down and took it away and ever since then it stayed like that so you can see you, you can actually see right in the building there the bottom's all doorways but they're all bricked up so they've been and they've done that work but they did send a fine to the owner i remember it, it was all over stoke-on-trent live that was about four years ago and nothing's changed with the building since so i reckon they've probably been sending more fines ever since now the reason i was over this way earlier because i don't live far from here i came this way it's like a long detour because there's a place not far away that i'm going to go have a quick look at now when i came past earlier it had been freshly boarded up but a friend of mine sent me a picture today from a local forum and basically that building had been wide open for 11 days now we have tried to enter that building in the past we tried twice and we thought we'd got in but we hadn't and it's an old victorian market it's a fantastic place if you're from stoke you've probably heard about it or seen it online anyway for the past 11 days that's been sitting wide open they've people have broken in they've pulled the door open it's been it's been just left open now when i went past today the door was closed and there's a fresh piece of wood right across so we're gonna go check that out and i'm gonna have a proper look i mean when i came past it was about again about half two in the afternoon unfortunately though this one ain't gonna happen this is an old nat west bank here that's all abandoned too see there's nothing going on with that over here we have what used to be the leopard inn which sadly burned down up there we have the queen's theater i've been in there overnight before very haunted scary building at night it's very interesting been in that building before now it's all boarded up here we have the market so the door that was open uh, it was, was just up here by that bin I drive past very slowly see it's all been it's all secured into it now again freshly and there's a padlock on it yeah padlock on it so that ain't gonna happen yeah that's a uh, basil market then guys
the views, the views are fantastic. I haven't been up here for years, actually. This is where Luna ended up having a friend. Yeah. House at the back, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, they never used to close that car park off at one time. It's mad how like, times change. One time. Just like a little gravel car park and it used to be open 24 seven. And I used to come up here at night time with my friends. The views in the daytime and night time are oh, phenomenal. You can actually see Jodrell Bank from up here. Markov is a really high point on the sort of Staffordshire, Cheshire border. Imagine living there. I know, you were here, haven't you? Yeah, I walked Luna up here. So this is pretty much a lot of Staffordshire over here. I wonder where our house is. Well, I think we worked out before the hospital's over there somewhere. I think we could see it on a clearer day. Yeah, it's nice views over here. So this is the Malkop, the Malkop Castle, Malkop Castle. But it's not actually a real castle. A lot of people think it is, but it's not. It was built to look like a ruin. And people get mistaken and think that it is actually a castle. And now it's been battered in some war. And now it looks like a ruin. But it never was an actual castle. This is how it was when it was built. It's a shame there isn't, like this archway doesn't come further over. Because it'd be pretty cool setting up here at night. It does get pretty cold. I think Sylvia's cold. Crying? I've got a hand around me. I think she's cold. I'll warm you up. Is that better? Yeah, the sun is starting to set. Because it's raining, you can see all that mist and fog in the air. You can see as far as Manchester from up here, guys. Oh. I'll just shake a little bit inside. There's nothing much to see. Don't drop my camera. It is raining, it's not too bad. It's just cold, I think, that makes it worse. Yeah, you can just see, um, just see Judge Bank from here. I, I, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but on a clear, clear day, you can see all the Welsh mountains, you can see snow down here. It's, um, it's really high up point, this is, it's fantastic. Okay. I want to see a plane. Okay, we're going to go back down, guys, because it's windy, cold, and raining. What I will say is if you guys want to see this place properly, in the daytime properly, um, I'll come back up when it's relatively clear, nice day. Maybe, here yeah, what we could do is we could come up one morning to, to the sunrise. It's where Sylvia struggles. It's funny. Look at the arms, how they go up every time. <laughs> and again, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <Is that there? laughs> and again, like, even the one goes up. It's like, can't help it. <laughs> try to do it without, try to do that one without your arms going up. Are your shoulders went up? <laughs> Oh, she managed. How much effort is that taking them? <laughs> you're like, every time you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that on purpose. Yeah, I wasn't really bothered about the rain, but it starts getting a bit cold and it's a bit windy because we're so high up. But yeah, like I said, if you'd like to see this place properly, like, just let me know and I'll, I'll come up again in the daytime. We, we could even come up really early morning when we know what time the sunrise is and we've got a relatively clear day. We'll come up and we'll film the sunrise. I'll even time lapse this. Wow, imagine how good that'll be. Be nice living there, won't it? You said we, you got another place, yeah? Yeah, there's somewhere I'll go and look for. It used to be an old abandoned pub. Very, very unknown. I've never known anyone to go here. Might be gone now. And then somewhere here is an entrance to the, uh, the underground tunnels. What's going on? I don't know, they're reversing back, so. I hope they didn't miss a turning. We had to take a little 
detail because the road itself was very narrow. However, somebody decided to park right in the middle of it. He was literally blocking the road. Yeah, he, he was blocking the road. Like, yeah, we can't get through. I'm wondering if that's the old pub was on about. They've done it up. Could be. It was like literally on the side of the road, it was all overgrown. But it was literally in a, in a place just like that. So I'm wondering if that's the one I'm on about. Could be. That pub is sort of situated where I believe it would have been. Mm -hmm. And the pub back then was in the bushes, very overgrown. And it was called the Globe. So if we Google it, then we'll know if it's the same the same pub and it's been renovated. I was about 17, 18 when I used to see that. So, I mean, how, how long ago is that? 15 years? Yeah. 16 years? Oh Wait. my god, how tight is this road? Yeah. I know. This isn't even a road. Is there a massive puddle there, though? Is there just my glasses? Just your glasses, I think. This is ridiculous. I mean, I've been down some nar narrow roads, but this is, this is a two-way street. Oh, I just beeped on the camera. That was a real chicken beep. Sit down, my baby. Mmm, chicken breath. Oh, thank you for chicken licks. Oh, thank you. Just what I wanted. Those beefy biscuit and raw chicken breath. Kisses. Somebody's waiting for chicken. Somebody wants more chicken. Oh! <laughs> Can't even see anything through the screen anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We have some slobby. Good job it's waterproof. And we know it's waterproof because I had it in the, in the sea yesterday. Anyway, I'm just going to sit here next to my self-portrait. <sighs> oh yeah, so sometimes it is nice to kind of go out and check out the local area. If you've got a few pins in one area, go for a quick drive, check them out. You never know, might get lucky. If I could have got in there tonight, I would have filmed it. Unfortunately, I couldn't. But it's never going to be off the list until one day the building gets knocked down, if ever. It is listed, so maybe it won't. But I'll, I won't give up, you know, I'll always keep checking. Every time I drive past to have a look, if we ever get the chance to go in, I will certainly do that. But I'm gonna hand the hand? I'm gonna hand this video. So I'm gonna hand this video here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new.